And you've really used like uh, social media, right? I mean, like you've grown a following uh, on Twitter, now X. And I think has that been kind of the main catalyst for like business development and like meeting folks and getting it out there? Or was it like started with your personal network and then you brought it to like the masses? Um, I, you know, I, I think I give probably over 50% of credit to Twitter uh, on this whole business idea launching. Uh, the reason is over time I developed enough of a following where I could ask a question and I got some good feedback. You know, to, you know how Twitter goes. Like you get some some really negative feedback. You get some overly positive feedback. But then, like the stuff in the middle is like what's actually helpful. Um, and so I think it was maybe July of last year when I just tweeted randomly. Like I, I you know, I gave some someone feedback on a deck for free, and they were like, "Man, I, maybe you should do this. Like maybe you should charge. I would pay you to give to give me feedback like that." And I was like, "Oh, maybe I should." So, so I tweeted about that and I just said, like, why isn't there someone that gives independent feedback on a deck for a grant? Um, and, you know, that went somewhat viral and there was like a bunch of feedback and I was like, oh, maybe this is a real idea, <laughs> you know. And then throughout my journey, um, I mean, I can tell you as of today, probably 60 to 70 percent of my revenue comes from either Twitter or LinkedIn leads. Um, I don't really advertise. Uh, I just post ideas that I hope are helpful. And uh, over time, people reach out. Yeah. What other, are there any other groups that are in kind of that, this space? The only thing I can really think about in my mind that I've come across that's like this is if you have like a private wealth advisor or somebody that's with a large institution, a lot of times they'll kind of tout this as one of the services that they provide it's like hey you know we show our clients private deals we help them kind of vet them give them feedback on if we think it's good or not but outside of that like i i mean maybe i just don't know but like what's the closest thing to what you're doing that you know of yeah so i mean i think we can go sort of across the spectrum of capital if you go to like all the way up to pension fund money and the, the, those types of checks um, there are firms that do my type of work. Um, right. Then you go down to sort of like under a billion dollars in wealth uh, where people are going to like, either they have like a smaller family office um, or they're just have like a private net worth person. Um, so as you pointed out, a, a lot of the private um, advisors will say that they help on those deals. Uh, but I found at least, I mean, this is just my experience and I could be totally wrong. I'm still learning a lot about the marketplace, but I've found a lot of those advisors to not know much about real estate investing. Um, mm. and, and beyond that, you could also argue that some of them are incentivized, you know, to keep investments in certain areas where they get fees and whatever, right. It depends on how their model is, uh, you know, wh right. what the person is paying for. But, um, yeah, and, and, and then as you go down to sort of like, I don't know, a, a software engineer who's worth uh, $5 million looking to place $100,000, uh, as far as I know, there's nobody that does that. Um, I haven't, I mean, I, I've run into a few people uh, that do it. Some of them have started after me. A few of them have been doing it before me. But it's like I, I, I can count all of them on one hand. And... Um, if anything, I think that's awesome. Like I, I, um, this market in my mind is so massive. Like there could be like 50 competitors and there's still like plenty of people to talk to.